amniocentesis, a prenatal diagnostic test in which a small amount of amniotic fluid is removed from the pregnant woman's belly, which you can see here in this picture, to determine any genetic abnormality. Your doctor may recommend amniocentesis if your chances of having a baby with a genetic condition or birth defect are higher than average. Usually, doctors suggest a genetic amniocentesis when a patient has received abnormal results from a prenatal screening, or they'll suggest it if you have a history of any family genetic diseases, or also if a woman is older than the age of 35 and it's her first time having a baby. They have been doing amniocentesis for the longest to test for Down syndrome, but the procedure was later used to test for other genetic disorders such as hay Sachs disease, sickle cell anemia, hemophilia, muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, spina bifida, and other genetic diseases or defects. There is no guarantee that it will detect any of those defects or diseases. So it might be negative, but you might still have a child that has some type of genetic disease or birth defect. Here is the list of associated risks and complications that can occur from having an amniocentesis. Miscarriage, cramping and vaginal bleeding, needle injury to the fetus, leakage of amniotic fluid, occurrence of infection in mother's uterus, transmission of pre-existing infections from the mother to the fetus. I did also read somewhere where it says these risks are very low but you just have to be careful during my pregnancy with my daughter at one of our ultrasound visits the doctors detected something was wrong and i had an abnormal ultrasound so they asked me to come back for another checkup when when i went back the doctor suggested that i have an amniocentesis done However, I opted out of having that done because I didn't want to further complicate things. Like if there was already something wrong, I didn't want to do this test and, you know, possibly risk more harm to my baby. So I just was like, you know, whatever's wrong, when my baby gets here, we'll figure it out then. You know, whatever it is, that's my child and I got her. So she was born five weeks early. She was five pounds. She quickly gained the weight. My baby is, you know, she's a normal. She's a normal girl. She's active. She's fun. She's just, you know, she's a regular kid, but she has sickle cell disease. And it's just up to me, you know, I have to take care of her. It's my job to take care of her regardless. And this is her. And I love her so much, my little sickle cell baby. And I got her. I wasn't aware that I had sickle cell trait and her father had the trait as well that's how she ended up getting the disease i say that to say i do make these videos because i would like to spread awareness about the disease so if you plan on having children you and your partner should think about doing some genetic testings just to try to prevent any type of genetic disorders or diseases be passed along to your future children but to each his own. I do know that it doesn't usually happen like that. I do know that a lot of relationships just go like that. And before you know it, you're bringing kids into the world. But if you do take the time to put the thought into it and put the work into it and probably some funds, then, you know, you might be able to prevent it, but you might not be able to prevent it. It might just be something that just is already written you know but it's my job to put these out here <laughs> and i love to do it thanks for watching